god. Oh god. Oh god. They're not good, guys. Not good. You show. I know. <laughs> what the hell? Uh, we need to be professional, okay? <laughs> Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror, Horror Bandwagon. Wagon. <laughs> I'm in with Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another reaction of The Last of Us. Today, we're going to be reacting to episode three. Mm -hmm. We are getting there. We are progressing with the story. I feel like we're getting heartbroken every single episode. We are. So I can't wait how they're gonna mess me up for episode three. Yeah, me too. I am also excited because every week we get a little bit closer to the part where I actually started paying attention to you playing The Last of Us. Oh yeah, that's so. true. <laughs> now we are expecting this one to be a jam packed episode. It's going to be like a movie length. So I assume we're gonna get a lot of information. We're gonna get new characters. So let's cut this short. Let's get to the reaction. But before we do, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And now, without further ado, let's get Pedro Pascal back on our screens. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> let's get into it. Are we going right into the intro? Oh, shoot. Sorry, the music just takes over. Ow. Hey, you gotta heal somehow. What I wanna know is, do they just pack a bunch of shirts? Like, is that the same shirt he's been wearing? Because I know in the game, we just have to realize that he can put anything, you know, like any equipment on. Yeah. But this is real life. I mean, in real life, I guess you probably would only have one shirt. They were only expecting to go out there and then come back. That's true. We are 10 miles west of Boston now. All right. Almost looked like he was making like a trail marker or something with <gasps> the rocks. That's smart. Leave some crumbs. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're going to walk across the country and come back, you got to be able to find your way back, right? Nobody's got GPS. Knowing me, I would forget and be like, oh, fuck. There's this whole gap. You want your jacket back? I wouldn't give it back. I'd be like, oh. <laughs> what was that? More sandwich? Did a truck battery or whatever, and you made a choice. So don't blame me for something that isn't my fault. Mm -hmm. Tell him. Tell it how it is. How much longer? Five hour hike. Oh. My legs. <laughs> I mean, you'd be in good shape after walking across the country. That's true. Like you fell down the stairs or something? I didn't fall down any stairs. Okay, so what then? Someone shot at me and missed. See, that's cool. That is cool. Mm -hmm. That's badass. That's hot. Although, if you have a scar, I feel like they hit. Just not, like, <laughs> where they meant to. Because you suck at shooting or, like, in general? In general. Oh. We had supplies on routes. If we find ourselves short on gear, which I currently am, because. No. Keep your ears pierced for some clicks. There's this one character named Melina who takes off her mask and she has monster teeth and then she swallows you whole and barfs out your bones. Uh. And that's what makes her fierce. <gasps> the drama that she delivers. I think she just wants to find something cool. Which is very kid-like. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yeah. That's too dark for me. Uh-uh. Yeah. You got a flashlight? She does have a flashlight. She's not using it? Oh, not too far. I'm nervous. I'm very skeptical about this. It's 
So is Joel not hearing any of this? I guess not. He's super quiet. I hear things. Yeah, so do I. This in is my creepy. ear holes. <gasps> Stop it. Not her actually picking up supplies. I'm st of course. Of course. How are you going to get out now? That is nuts. Mm hmm. <laughs> you got me there. You got me, girl. I got me, gal. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I saw the little things coming out. Ah. Uh. What are you doing, girl? No, it's a quick death. <laughs> Part of me is kind of like, leave the man alone. I know. He's already on top of things. Oh, girl. No. Uh-uh. I just had dinner. Uh. Ew. Why is it fuzzy? <laughs> oh, she did not hold back. Holy shit. Whoa. To a middle C, pay 12 bucks for a sandwich. Dude, you got to go up in the sky. Yeah, well, so did they. Bummer. Fit to be infected, then who bit the first person? Was it a monkey? I bet it was a monkey. It wasn't a monkey. I thought you went to school. She's ask asking the your kind of questions. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is. You eat enough of it, it'll get you infected. So the tainted food all hits the store shelves around the same time. So something like over time. Mm -hmm. By Monday, everything was gone. It makes more sense than monkeys. <laughs> Thanks. So does that make sense overall to you? I'm for I'm me. Personally, I'm I'm okay with with that reasoning. <laughs> I'm personally still a little skeptical about the concept that over the course of cooking the flour, it would still be able to infect you. Okay. Um, but they're still having contact with the, yeah. the flour and the fungus, and it could get in your mouth. Yeah, it's something it's, that's spread. It's still, like, around. Yeah. It's so, probably actually more likely that you would have a little bit of it that, like, that gets still up in is your face on there. so that you breathe in yeah. over you ingest these spores, and they survive your stomach acid and are able to infect you told you you were going to a QZ and you were if there was room if there wasn't that's the one like really really sad part about the um about the game is that the, the little memos that people leave behind yeah. you get to learn about everyone's experience um and some of it's just like really really sad why not just leave and be dead people can't be infected Oof, that hit hard. Oh, there's a little kid. Oh, don't show me your... Oh, no! You didn't have to do that. That was a baby. Don't tell me they're going to show us. Oh, is he, like, in hiding? Yeah, I think he's in like a secret compartment under his basement. Oh, look at that. He's ready, but also mm -hmm. could kill himself in this in this area. Easily. Smart. But I figured at this point, soldiers would just not give a fuck and just blow up this place, you know? It's his town now. Mm -hmm. But like, imagine you would have all this time to just go around all the stores and collect the supplies. A whole Home Depot at your disposal? That was fast. Oh, they ended up, he's gonna go over it. Restore the power. The 
See, in my opinion, Nick Offerman is a perfect casting oh, for, I completely for this agree. character. I'm only guessing that everything is going so well right now, and we're just waiting for it shit to hit the fan soon. So he's just Ron Swanson. <laughs> <laughs> That's got to be like a little reference to his character. Oh, no. Keep coming. Oh, no. <laughs> got him. Mm-hmm. Oh, he's been going strong just mm -hmm. by himself. See, I want to know the first thing to do. No way. Did someone fall in a hole? I'm not infected. Are you armed? No. Why did you take that long to answer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to get to Boston. Alone? We started with 10. Oh, no. You can make it by nightfall. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten in two days. Doesn't sound very long out loud, does it? <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty long. If I feed you, then every bum you talk to about it is going to show up here looking for a free lunch. And this is not an Arby's. I will say, Nick Offerman looks really good with long hair. Mm hmm I agree. I left some clothes here for you. That's so sweet of him. Mm -hmm. Although, can I have five more minutes? Sure. Sure! Thank you! Does he have time showers? <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. You gotta come to the door like that? <laughs> what is what is the big deal? He was just looking around. I mean, you figure at some point you stop like remembering how to be around other people, right? I mean, that's what happened to me after the pandemic. I was like, how do I hang out? <laughs> how do I speak? What do you think that is? It looks kind of like duck, I thought at first. Oh my God. <clears throat> and even bring him some wine? Mm -hmm. A man who knows to pair rabbit with a Beaujolais. Fancy. Rabbit. Rabbit. So I guess I'll be going then. But first, that was your cue. He was like, tell him no. Is it antique? 1948. Wow. You know how much these are worth? Currently nothing. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. No, 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 sir. No, thank you. Sorry. Not this song. Not this song. Well, I'm not a professional. Well, neither am I. Oh, it was that bad. Lullaby. Take things in stride. Oh, I feel that. My side and time washes clean. I'm feeling this from his soul. I like, know. Also, didn't know he could sing. Done everything I know to try and make you mine. <laughs> why, why do I feel like I'm crying? <sighs> that was beautiful. <sighs> oh. Come on. 
Oh, he's like crying. He's like tearing up. You don't cry when I kiss you. <laughs> you don't cry when I kiss you. It goes both well, ways. Now I'm going to sob. <laughs> <laughs> Now, see, this is what I love. I love seeing some bear on bear love. Mm -hmm. Have you ever done this before? Not with anyone? <laughs> with a girl a long time ago. Oh, oh, but Sam. oh he's so nervous. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> but before I do, I want you to know that I'm not a whore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I have sex for lunches. He's a man who knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck you. Come on. Uh, you can't do that to me. I was just loving the sensuality. This world, you live in a psycho bunker where 9-11 was an inside job and, and the government are all Nazis. The government are all Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else myself. It is not you know, a man. You say resource management? So help me, I will run through one of your tripwires. Oh, my God. And we will invite them to visit. We don't have friends, Frank. But a guy could dream, mm -hmm. you know? Well, this really is just... <laughs> <laughs> Can you not they did make friends! Yay! I mean, this would so be me, though, in, like, if, in this world. Because I'm so social that, like, it would drive me crazy to never have any interaction with other people. Yeah. <clears throat> well, can I just say, uh, gun aside, which I get. Oh, Tess. Way. How nice this is to have a sick- I'm glad we get to still see more of her a little bit. Me too. I really needed this. We are working together. So maybe this is like something they would like smuggle stuff in from, like if they were gonna have wine or something. I understand. If Maya brought strangers into our situation, I wouldn't be happy either. But of all the people insinuating some mm -hmm. some relationship. That fence has got a year on it, tops. Galvanized wire already started to corrode. Oh damn. Petro Pascal is like reading his whole thing. You come back, we'll trade. Alright. Oh, and I had this idea that we should uh, we should use codes for the radio in case anyone's listening. <laughs> I love that he's just loving this. So like, okay, let's let's keep in contact. Let's call each other. You'll beat that fence and your tripwires. They'll come at night, quiet and armed. We'll be fine. I think he's looking out for him, you know? Okay, three years after that, things are starting to rust a little bit. Now, oh, he took his advice and... Pick it up. <laughs> oh my God. This is us exercising. Mm -hmm. I'm like, let's go, babe. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> Not that. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you right there. I thought, for a second there, I thought those were spores. <sighs> <laughs> oh. A garden. Go and test one of your guns for a packet of seeds. Which gun? A little one. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no, he's going to be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> well, they probably haven't had like fresh fruit. Yeah. You know? I'm sorry. What? Getting older faster than you. Uh, I like you older. Oh. No, you found the strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say it though. I was like, wait, not there. I love that these like horror shows are coming out with like these really cute like gay couple storylines. It's yeah. so awesome. <gasps> no! We got the Raiders. Oh fuck no. Yes, 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 come on. Oh. Yeah, not good, guys. Not good. Bill! 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 
Where did he go? I don't understand. Oh, do you know how to fire a gun? Do you think he's lived with Bill for this long oh, and not true. been taught? That's true. But where is he? You're gonna get yourself killed, man! I know! But I mean, what if Bill's out there? He wants to try to save him. Oh, is that him? That's him. <laughs> that guy's still in the fire. Bill! Get inside! Oh, you're gonna get yourself shot! Oh, no, Bill, no! Inside now! Hold on to me! I got you. I got you. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah. We're gonna go down to your like little little bunker thing. I know. Yep. I made a list for you. Uh huh? Tell me about the list. I have copies. Of them. Is he saying like his last words? No. No. <laughs> oh. He'll take care of you. No way. No, don't tell me. <gasps> no, he is not dead. You're kidding me. Bell. Oh, is he alive? I think he's alive. Oh, thank you, show. I know. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll get you warmed up. But I mean, they live with each other for that long. I know. Oh, I can't even draw anymore. Take your pills. Oh no. <clears throat> this is a conversation that we probably had earlier today. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna get like this at some point. You're gonna have to help me out with some things. Or you may be helping me out with some things. Nah. No, I will be helping you out. Sorry. I don't know. I sent me in like You'll you'll keep strong. You'll keep I, strong. I knew what you meant. But, okay, but okay. The internet may not. Have. Exactly. Let me <laughs> let me just set the set the record clear. Oh. oh they kiss each other good night. Uh. Why is he sitting there like that? I'm exhausted. God damn it. Ah. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. I thought for a second there, I thought he was dead. What if what if someone shows up who can help? Who's coming, Bill? The door-to-door -door MRI salesman. Oh. <laughs> Please show, don't make me cry. I've had a lot of bad days. I've had bad days with you too, but I've had more good days with you than with anyone else. Just give me one more good day. Starting now, make me some toast. <laughs> oh. Where I'll pick outfits for us. You'll wear what I ask. We'll get married. Oh. And you cook a delicious dinner. Then you will crush it. I will drink it. And I will fall asleep in your arms. <laughs> uh, I, can't, I can't. Yeah, I don't know how anybody would be able to do that. It's so tough. And this is hitting home for me because this is like what we're going to like. The goal is to grow old together, yeah. you know? Uh, remember when I said, like, you were just prepared for sadness, <laughs> for more sadness? This is what's happening. God damn it, the show.
We became rabbit. That was the first meal together. <laughs> Fuck this. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, this is beautifully beautiful at the same time as this is sad. The whole thing. Where did he get that? Probably from Tess. Oh, I don't even know. I, I forgot if he said that or not. Why are there already pills in the bottle? Enough to kill a horse. This yeah. isn't the tragic suicide at the end of the play. He wants to go out together. And you were my purpose. It's incredibly romantic. Right. I'm at the sniffly part of crying. I'm sorry. Take me to bed. I don't know what it is. I I mean, it's the the magic is the storytelling, but also just like how much this hits. I don't want to keep talking. Cause I'm, <laughs> all right, I'm not gonna even talk anymore. <laughs> Man, our channel has like a bunch of uh, videos of us just crying <laughs> on on camera. <laughs> uh, we need to be professional, okay? <laughs> People watch to be happy. Ah, oh, this was just so good. The fact that they took a little bit of backstory that we learn along in the game mm -hmm. and they expanded it to this whole life to give that character so much more purpose. Ugh. <laughs> I love how just like curious Ellie is. Well, imagine she's like never seen any of this. That's true. Did Ellie just leave or something? No, I think she was trying the key. Oh. Maybe it was just the wind. <laughs> To whomever, but probably Joel. <laughs> I'm guessing you found this, Joel, because anyone else would have been electrocuted or blown up by one of my traps. The <laughs> 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 code is the same as the gate code, but in reverse. Anyway, I never liked you, but still, <laughs> it's like we're friends. Oh my god. Then I protected him. That's why men like you and me are here. We have a job to do. Ooh, this is hitting him so hard right now. Mm -hmm. I leave you all of my weapons and equipment. Use them to keep. Oh, yeah. He was talking about Tess. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this is how they get the car. It might be. It looks like a car key. It's the car key, him. right? Oh, yes. Just let their feelings feel. Or oh, it could be just the sun hitting him in the face. <laughs> yep, it's it's the car. Oh, yeah, so this part is definitely different from the game. Uh, you have a whole mission, a whole, like, pretty long mission to go get the car. I just finished making a truck battery. It's charging right now. I have a brother out in Wyoming. He's in some kind of trouble, and I'm heading out there to find him. Tommy. Holy yep. Shit. Got a plethora of things that you can't possibly carry. Nothing dented or swollen. Dude. No. <laughs> There's a wall of them. You gotta be good with your knife. I have hot water. I'm taking a shower. And then you're showering. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> I like the checking checking of the cabinets. Oh, Ellie. 
Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. This, the, it may come in, in handy down mm -hmm. the line. It's your first time in a car? It's like a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Do you know who Linda Ronstadt is? You know I don't know who Linda Ronstadt yeah. is. Linda Ronstadt is going to be the new Kate Bush for this for 2023. Oh, very true. It's a bedroom window. Yeah. I'm gonna love you. Oh man, that was a beautiful episode. It was. That a was a very episode. beautiful. Episode. All right, guys. So that was episode three of The Last of Us, and I gotta say, and I said it before. That was a very beautiful episode. Of it course, was. we got a lot more information um, and we got to center the whole episode around Bill and Frank, the characters. What did you think of that? I honestly, I loved this episode. It really was so sweet to see two people just live life together even after the end of the world. Yeah. And it's like what in my brain like we would do and if... this is that is why it hit so hard for me earlier i was literally sobbing just because you know you want to grow old together with somebody and yeah. they found each other and that's exactly the dynamics that we would have um so it, it just it was just very beautiful and a little bit poetic and honestly like just heartbreaking at the same time like it's just like there was no they didn't die of the fungus you know like you didn't yeah. see that terrible aspect of it but you saw the beauty of the of a relationship growing because of it um which was really really nice it i will say it was very different from the game okay um so i don't know i'm very interested to hear other people and what their thoughts are i mean i loved it but I said this before, there was like, there was a whole big mission. Like you got to meet Bill and then you had to go get the battery for the car. You had to go through a school and the school had this big, huge bloater. And then that's where I got introduced to the bloater. And then, so I think they're saving the bloater for a little, a, another time, Yeah. Um, the reveal. But then they returned and in the house, uh, right before you were going to go in the car, uh, there was a letter and there was like a skeleton. So like you saw that that was Frank and then you read the letter. Um, I kind of want to say that Frank couldn't stand Bill. So it was like a different dynamic, but guys, let me know if I'm wrong. I mean, either way, I like this much better. I, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's... It wasn't the action packed episode as it could have been, but they chose a different route and I, I personally liked it, yeah. But guys, you let us know what you thought of this episode. Did you sob like we did? Or did you were like, what the fuck are they crying about? Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but let us know if you liked the episode uh, down below in the comments. But until next time, we have been your source for horror analysis. Criticism. And spooky, okay? And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye.